The finishing touches are now being applied in a years long project to restore and remodel our state capital. Artwork is now returning to the building and with it, a look to the past and to the future. These are really important works of art that speak to our history and our future, and we're really excited to bring these back to the people of Oklahoma. The four sons have come home. Large portraits of Will Rogers, Jim Thorpe, Sequoia, and Robert S. Kerr are back at the newly renovated Oklahoma State Capitol. You'll find them on the fourth floor rotunda, right underneath the dome. The four among hundreds of works of art that have spent recent years tucked away in secret. A secure, climate-controlled storage facility where we took the hundreds of works of art that we had to remove during renovation. We're not disclosing where those are because many of those works are still there and they're very valuable in nature. Amber Sharples is the executive director of the Oklahoma Arts Council. She says now that renovations at the Capitol are complete, the art can come home. This is phase two of eight. 80% hope to be returned by the end of this year. The rest of the art will come next year, but they are not coming alone. 20 new pieces of art will join them at the Capitol, many of them honoring Oklahomans who, until recent years, did not get the attention they deserve. We're going to have a mural on Black Wall Street. We're going to have a mural about the Katz Drugstore sit-ins of 1958. Um, we're going to have a new painting on Choctaw Code Talkers of World War I. It's pretty exciting and Sharples also told us that some of the new artwork and murals will put a spotlight on people in places that many Oklahomans do not know much about. Again, all the art won't be in in full until next year.